A Plaguelands Media Production. <laughs> hey everyone, Hugh from Plaguelands Media here bringing you the first book review of 2022 and I've got something absolutely fucking bonkers for you guys today. Transformers and the Terminator, Enemy of My Enemy. Yep. They did a crossover, Transformers and Terminator. How does it read? Is it worth fucking getting into or is it just a big piece of shit? You'll find out on another episode of... I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, this book is fucking awesome it's as crazy as you would expect it to be um basically you have uh the arm schwarzenegger terminator from the first terminator film um in los angeles in 2029 uh he is on the run and trying to escape because decepticons have taken over the earth and they are planning to destroy skynet Skynet sends Arnie back to 1984, where he meets Sarah Connor, who is a waitress in a diner. There is an interaction between Arnie and a truck driver. Arnie steals the truck driver's clothes. This is all sounding really, really familiar. Uh, he steals the truck and he takes Sarah Connor with him and they are headed to Mount St. Hilary. For those of you that are not familiar with Mount St. Hilary, that is the fictional volcano in uh, the Transformers canon where the Ark carrying the Autobots and Decepticons crashed. And when it erupts, uh, the robots wake up and that's how the Transformers kind of come about. So uh, Arnie in this truck with Sarah Connor, gets to the volcano, but it's too late. The volcano has erupted. Uh, Arnie, of course, was going to destroy the Ark, thereby wiping out the Transformers, thereby in the future Skynet will stay online. That is his actual mission. So he, uh, he gets there too late and uh, the Decepticons have woken up. The Autobots are still kind of asleep. However, the truck that they were driving bears a suspicious resemblance to Optimus Prime. So that is how Optimus Prime gets his kind of truck form. There is a huge fight. Um, Sarah Connor managed to wake up the other Autobots. The Decepticons flee and uh, head to Cyberdyne Industries where they are going to try and get some Energon cubes, converting the electricity to Energon. The Autobots try to stop them. Uh, basically Optimus Prime appeals to the T-800's uh, better nature, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, hence the title. And the Terminator agrees to fight alongside the Autobots to destroy the Decepticons. I'm not gonna tell you how it ends. Rest assured, it is a really fucking good payoff. Who would have thought this book would actually work? You had some great, some great covers, great cover art. Uh, all of the beat counts are here. Arnie says, come with me if you want to live. Right there. The art is fantastic, very clear and detailed. Some great kind of, uh, Cover out there. You've got all the uh, all the classic uh, Transformers. You've got the Insecticons, although they don't uh, combine in this. You have um, all the classic Autobots. You've got Starscream trying to backstab um, Megatron, which is kind of a staple in this kind of thing. There you have uh, the Decepticons attacking Cyberdyne. I didn't think, classic. I didn't think this would work. Uh, surprisingly, it does. The ending is actually really satisfying. 
and I would honestly like to see more um, from this. This was published by uh, Dark Horse and IDW. Really worth a look if you're interested in it. That is Transformers and the Terminator, Enemy of My Enemy. Fucking great book. Hope you all have a fantastic 2022. Got a lot more videos coming your way. But until then, if you've got nothing to do, read a fucking book, people. Stay safe. See you in the next video.